well, the bagel thing, which I'm assuming I'm gonna get it to, yeah? Well, we don't have it specifically, but yeah, if you want to talk about your bagel bags and the star of Larry David Yeah, uh, there's that. no reaction to the star of Larry David, people just get it and like it, and that makes me think that I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I should get more offensive, cause like... <laughs> so, you... wait, was it real bacon? No! Yeah. Like, you paint it, cause like I was I thinking... I oil paint, just... I, make, I make molds of an object, a food object, let's yeah. say. Uh, cast it in plastic urethane and oil paints it to look really real. It looks so real. And where the, where the bags are, was that all fake as well? The you can't drill into real I, I don't know. I was like, I couldn't believe that it was like ah. art. It was so well. I know, but that, that's the point. That's yeah. the point. But uh, you know, these are sculptural objects that are meant to look real, but they are archival yeah. and purchasable. <laughs> <laughs> Come to my solo show next month. Okay, but actually, um, so I think that the response to like the Jewish star, which is like a blasphemous, irreverent piece. Mm -hmm. Didn't offend anyone, maybe my parents a little, they're like, Chloe, come on, <laughs> but no one's offended. So I'm like, okay, I'm doing it wrong. But the bag scenario, I think because it has the ability to um, confuse people into thinking it's really a Chanel bag, mm -hmm. um, the response, well, should I explain what happened? Yeah, yeah. please. <laughs> so um, I had actress India Menuez um, wear my, Chanel, my sculpture of a Chanel bagel bag to the Chanel dinner. She was dressed in all Chanel because Chanel dressed her. Mm -hmm. Everyone there was celebrating Chanel. It's um, assumed that, you know, everyone, no one's there to parody the event. Yeah, so yeah. she wore my Chanel bag and everyone thought it was really Chanel. Chanel actually had previously created a fashion show that had like some food references in it. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't so out of the ordinary, yeah. but like, I'm sorry, there's no leather. <laughs> it's not, there's no hole for you to put your cell phone your it's own a bagel. <laughs> it's literally a bagel that's made of oil paint and urethane. It's yeah. funky and there's like one side is flat. It's like getting oil paint on her dress. Yeah. It's like, it's a dysfunctional art object. Yeah. And so, um, I kind of thought it would, I, I like we intended this to be a, a performance art mm -hmm. experience, but I did not um, anticipate the reaction, which was, um, images of her, and she's like this beautiful girl in this beautiful outfit with this bagel bag. It looked kind of awesome, but yeah. these images um, were taken and distributed onto all these fashion magazine websites, and on like it was it, the headlines came out. They're like Chanel shocks with shocks gluten free customers with new bagel bag, <laughs> or like Karl Lagerfeld has done it again, new bagel bag with like, must have. Like how do we get our hands on this bagel bag? And I was in London and I didn't have Wi Fi, and I was like. I get to my hotel, I'm like, oh, fuck, like, oh my god, like, this is going viral. So I came out, and I was like, oh, hi, y'all, like, I actually made this as a sculpture, like, not you, but stoked that you believe this was Chanel, like, what? Yeah. And then I was, the, the press started happening where I was on the news, and, like, all these magazines, and food and wine, and, like, mm. asked me to interview me, and, like, it just became such a, it entered the mainstream in a way that art does not tend to do, mm -hmm. especially for a 24-year-old artist, like, you don't really discuss um, you know, you're not really gonna have people who are like like looking online at street style photos discussing art. Mm -hmm. So you have an accidental audience that comes into play, people that did not expect or were not primed for the satire of the work, do not understand the context or the meaning of the piece. You have them coming into contact with this image of this bag and thinking it's Chanel and deciding they want it. Yeah. And that's where my critique becomes completed, where it's like I'm critiquing the banality of trends. And here y'all are thinking this is a real thing and now you want it yeah like now there's bags that are being produced i have seen like croissant bag by this australian yeah. designer like i mean some of the articles were like we all know that carbs have been hot for spring but now it's like no we don't yeah. they have not been hot for spring like what so it's like th that response this accidental response of people believing and buying into almost literally people wanting to buy this bag. Yeah. Like, where can I get this bag? I'm like, really? Like, you want to wear that? No. So it's like, it's a very interesting thing to see um, people um, complete my own critique by embracing unknowingly a critique of their own gullibility. Mm -hmm. like, gullibleness? Gullibility. So it's like, that was interesting. And then um, even, you know, months later after I came out about it and there's press, there's interviews, there's all this stuff explaining that this is a sculpture, even on these mainstream websites like Glamour and Lucky. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Artists, punks, fashion world, <laughs> people are still asking me if they can buy it as a bag. That's so crazy. I have bloggers <laughs> hit me up and there's nothing wrong with this. Like if you are a blogger or, or a fashion person, like why would you not want to try the newest thing? But like, yeah. you do you, I'm not critiquing you for doing that. But it's funny when people approach me and they're like, I would love to wear your bag to Fashion Week. And I'm like, okay, it's in the gallery, <laughs> dude. Like, it's not like that. And so that is really, I think to me, that's a, success, a successful um, ex exhibition of, of parody infiltrating 
life. And like that to me was like a really exciting and interesting reaction. Um, and it, it's like because of the um, mobility images have to travel the internet, yeah. making something that's bloggable, making something that's visually stimulating and is a one-liner and it fits on, in a square on your screen, gives that image the mobility and the access to accidental viewers. Mm. Thank you so much for uh, meeting with us. Function um, has had a great time interviewing you. Oh, thank you. And we to see more of your work in the future. And awesome. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>